South African tennis is charting a new path this weekend with the introduction of a new event. Former top 10 ATP doubles player and legend of the local game, John Lofner de Jager, is spearheading a first-of-its-kind team tournament called the Showdown. De Jager is dubbing it the IPL of tennis. He, together with Blessing Rugara, Johan Labuskagni and Oli Larue, have invested in four teams made up of four men and four women who will face off against each other for glory. To give us a better understanding of what the showdown actually is, I am joined by John Lafni de Jager. A very good morning to you, JL. Thank you so much for your time. The showdown, you're dubbing it the IPL of tennis. We are now watching exactly what it is that is happening in the IPL. Why exactly do you call it that and what is the showdown? Well, thank you, firstly, for having us this morning. It's, it's great. Uh, I've been part of World Team Tennis, the, the World Tennis League, the IPTL, uh, for a lot of years. It's an exciting format where you have men and women playing. You're playing you, you see men and women's doubles, you play mixed doubles, people engaging in a team. And we haven't had that in South Africa. And, uh, yeah, we got together and say, listen, let's start this. It's, uh, we started small, but it's turned out it's going to be a great event. I mean, it's the first time that players are getting paid. We had a live draft. We have more than more than 50 South African players that entered into the draft. We had it at Stain City. Mm. And uh, yeah, the four owners had the opportunity to select, uh, you know, four men and four women in their team. And each team was also um, able to select uh, a reserve. It's going to be a fun format. It's time-based, uh, so it's a little different. Um, every match is 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you have a strategy break where you can then substitute you know, um, some of your players. So we start with three men's singles, then three women's singles. You have two a men and women's doubles and then a mixed doubles. And it's all about points. So if I play you, I will serve twice, you will serve twice, and we will rotate like in, in, uh, in a tiebreaker until the time is done. And at the end of the day, it is uh, the team with the most points that wins. So it's exciting because every every t um, point counts. The exciting thing about this is, is that you know, we've got to make tennis sexy again in South Africa. You know, mm. I mean, I've always been a big believer that, you know, we need team events. Um, it's an individual sport, but all individual sports now moving to having more team events. And this is something that can really reignite the fire in, in South African tennis. We are very, you know, we were blown away by the support, by sponsors, people that want to get involved. We definitely, you know, the next event's going to be a lot better and, mm. and a lot bigger with more events. But the players, the players are so excited. You know, we, are, we have one or two play, international players um, that wanted to, that's playing in the event. And I'm sure next year, um, you know, it's going to be great for us. The big thing also is we, we're getting our top college kids now. They're in, the, in their break. Mm. Um, they can come back to South Africa. And we have a lot of college players that's playing in this event on Saturday at Midstream College. JL, talk to me about the importance of having this event um, in, in South Africa. South African tennis needs, as you said, um, you need to make it sexy, but what it also needs is a serious injection of talent. We need to be grooming a lot more, um, you know, we need to be grooming a lot more Kevin Andersons. We need to be grooming a lot more of your kind of players as well. And we need to have more of them and not just have one player out there now and then. You know, Kolomonzi is going to be involved in this particular tournament. And he's one of those players, young players that we are talking about, but he's just one player. We need a whole lot more. So talk to me about the importance of having the showdown in terms of grooming a group of talented South African tennis players we can put out onto the WTA and ATP? One of the biggest things that, that we struggle in South Africa is we don't have money for these guys. So we need to create an environment where we have tournaments, money tournaments, team events where South African players can earn money and then take that money, money and travel and play because it, it costs a lot of money to try. So I mean, oh, Carlos, it's, it's great. Carlos playing, Devin Bardnos, he finished 23 in the world under 18 last year. He's playing... Uh, Luke Koenig, Andrea Scott playing. We have uh, girls that's played on, in the Fed Cup. You know, we have junior national champions that's playing in this event. Uh, so it is important. And bringing the best players together, um, it's what we need. I mean, this week has been great here at our academy. Um, I mean, all the players that's playing in, in, in the showdown, a lot of them are training here. And it's just the fact of creating an opportunity where the best players can train with each other every single day. That's what we need. Uh, in, in, in our time, when we played, we had the super squads. We had eight or nine guys that trained together every single day. We traveled together. Now it doesn't happen. Everybody has to do something on, on its own. And hopefully this is, this is a start of getting more South African players to come to South Africa, play in tournaments that we create for them to make money, train together. And from there, we can send them into the world playing different tournaments all over. Where our South African kids are right now is they need to play futures and yeah. then they need to start playing challenges. So it's great for us that we do have 
more futures. But a, but a, but a country like Egypt, Tunisia, Turkey, they have 25 to 30 ITF futures in one year. Mm. They're back to back. They literally at a resort playing tournaments back to back. So many opportunities for for these uh, kids. So if we can start getting a series of money tournaments, big team events like this where they can make money leading into ITF events and then hopefully a two, three, we can get challenges and then maybe a 250 or 500 in South Africa. Uh, that's what we need and that's how the developing path for these players. So it's great. I mean, we're very awesome. We're very fortunate that, you know, everybody's getting involved. We've had mm. videos going around from different sporting coaches, rugby players, cricket players getting involved. You know, Gordon even which sent us a video of wishing everybody good luck. Mm. We need to create that that hype. And then also the thing that I think is very important is that just to see how hungry these players are for opportunities to compete. And um, we've got to embrace it. The coaches need to get together. Tennis South Africa supporting that. We're very, we're very happy about that. Yeah. And we need to create the platform where we can get strength against strength and then from here we take them overseas. Well, we can only but hope that the showdown is the start of something that's going to be incredible for young South African tennis talent and that one of these days we are talking about a Carlos Alcaraz Garcia that is coming from South Africa. We'll leave it there. Uh, JL, thank you so much for joining us and all the best with the event happening at Midstream College tomorrow. That is WTA and ATP tennis coach John Lafnit Yachar just chatting to us about the first of its kind, the showdown. It is happening in Centurion. It is happening on Saturday. And that is